Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. What is the most important factor in determining if a patient should undergo surgery or not is can we resect all the disease in the liver and render the patient cancer free after surgery. So this is what we call a curative intent surgery. And the patients who benefit the most from surgery are patients who have an R0 resection, meaning all microscopic margins are negative. Although even some patients with a positive microscopic margin may still derive a benefit from surgery. And the second thing is the technicality of the surgery. Is it feasible to resect? Can we leave enough liver that keeps the patient alive after surgery? We cannot resect more, more than two-thirds of the liver approximately. Uh, and, and also the inflow and outflow of the blood in the liver. So all of these variables are important in, in selecting patients or not. But the most important variable is can we leave a viable liver and can we resect all the tumor in the liver and render the patient clinically in remission after surgery. As a medical oncologist, the first thing that I address when I see a patient with metastatic disease to the liver is the likelihood of resectability or not. And I like to stratify those patients into clearly resectable disease, possibly resectable disease, and unresectable disease. The reality is that the lines are becoming very blurry between possibly resectable and unresectable. And as our treatments, specifically systemic chemotherapy, are improving, we are downstaging metastatic disease in the liver significantly, that many patients who present initially to us under the notion of unresectable metastatic disease are becoming resectable. Even in patients with metastatic disease to the liver that are deemed unresectable, now we know that with aggressive chemotherapy, a large portion of those patients will actually undergo resection down the road. There are clinical trials that have evaluated combination chemotherapies, specifically fulfoxyri and avastin or fulfiri and cetuximab and other combinations that have now shown that patients who are deemed unresectable become resectable approximately 30 to 50 percent of the time after downstaging with systemic chemotherapy. Since the goal of surgery is to achieve cure, we often have to go after all the hepatic lesions and resect these lesions with the negative margins. Sometimes that is not feasible in patients who have extensive metastatic disease to the liver with bilobar disease. So one strategy is to resect the lesions that are resectable and to ablate the other lesions that are not resectable. Another strategy is to proceed with hepatic resection in one lobe of the liver, wait until the patient recovers, and then go back with another surgery to the remnant of the liver. But you still have to maintain the same rules of leaving behind enough viable liver, enough liver to sustain the patient. And that still has to be approximately one-third of the total liver volume. The strategy of staged resections to the liver is implemented in instances where you cannot cut all the disease out and you still have to do a combination of hepatic resection to one lobe of the liver followed by hepatic resection to another lobe of the liver. Patients with metastatic colorectal cancer often present with an unresected primary. We call that synchronous metastatic disease. There's been a lot of debate as to resecting the primary tumor in those settings or not. We know these patients will require systemic chemotherapy. When do I send a patient for resection of their primary versus start chemotherapy without a resection of the primary disease? Since there is no clear evidence that resection of the primary tumor will improve the overall survival, it is imperative that patients with bulky metastatic disease start chemotherapy as soon as possible without undergoing a primary tumor resection. The patients that I typically consider for primary tumor resection are those patients who have a bulky primary tumor that is symptomatic or patients who have a low volume disease in the liver and still with a sizable tumor in the colon. Uh, there are ongoing clinical trials at this point to address this question specifically. Patients with an, a primary tumor in place and metastatic disease to the liver or elsewhere are being randomized to undergo primary tumor resection 
followed by chemotherapy versus upfront chemotherapy. And these studies are being done in Europe. 